Intercepting and examining all goods at our borders is neither practical nor desirable. And so Dutch customs subject the ever-increasing flow of goods and data to a system of intelligent risk control. By utilizing sophisticated risk profiles to identify and isolate suspicious transports, maximum security and minimum hassle go hand in hand. Indeed, Dutch customs lead the world when it comes to translating information from various sources into practical tools. High quality data are absolutely vital to achieve the high performance levels we have set ourselves. And data quality begins with the appropriate import-export documents. Add to these multi-sourced information concerning the nature, the origins, the routes, the shippers, the value, the destination, and previous assessments by other inspection agencies, and a full picture consistently emerges. It is such excellent intelligence that permits well-informed judgments to be made. Assessments that may or may not lead to intervention by one of our custom control centers. Where necessary, our control centers liaise efficiently and effectively with other government agencies. To be sure, our risk-based approach is ambitious, and so the data systems at the heart of our risk profiling methods are permanently being further developed. Goods are tracked and traced without interruption, from beginning to end. Integrating our systems into a global network is a top priority. Scientific research helps fine-tune IT aspects and logistics, as well as considerations of international law. Nowadays, it no longer matters where information is stored. It's all about accessibility. And so we work closely with all echelons of international business in developing innovative products. Products that provide all parties with precisely the information they need. Modern technology is a vital element in bringing our approach to life. And so our detection facilities can handle entire containers, even complete trains. Sensitive and automated scanning equipment ensures minimum hold-up time, while providing maximum levels of certainty concerning the absence of dangerous goods or other irregularities. Any deviation from the expected can lead to targeted intervention inspecting, isolating, or even returning the cargo. For maximum effectivity within Europe, the various risk assessment tools used by various member states must be pre-agreed and must conform to European legislation. This leads to what is known as a level playing field and to an improved coordination of the various national objectives. And that surely has to be good news.